here! We've been waiting for so long! It's only been five minutes. <laughs> Since everyone's here, let's get down to business. The Astral Express just received an invitation to the Planet of Festivities. Uh, hang on. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? Oh, please don't. We don't need to go through that again. Don't worry. The Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Fenacone's Paperfold University. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of soul. The Astral Express has been invited as guest to the conference. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? Don't worry, you can leave such boring events to the grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Welt, as for the three of you. If you're interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Well, it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfold University is preparing for its Dreamlight anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. Why don't you youngsters join the new students? Hmm? You could uh, explore the campus, uh, experience student life. Uh, do, do we have to study? Uh, that's great. A young, cute girl full of energy living her best life on campus? That experience is practically made for me. I hear that Paperfold University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. <clears throat> I would love to check it out too. <sighs> campus life. <laughs> Looks like everyone can't wait. Let's go ahead with that plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's all have some fun. <sighs> Electives, oh, extracurricular activities, campus parties. Oh, I wanna try them all. Of course. We're schoolmates now. Uh, never mind. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus. I'll be in your care now. As the top university in Penacony, the strict examinations and expensive tuition have deterred many potential candidates. The people who are admitted to the school are either well-known wealthy merchants or exceptionally talented geniuses. Because of this, I hear that the culture on campus has a truly Penaconian flavor. <laughs> How intriguing. Campus. Oh, that word sure brings back a lot of memories. Now that you mention it, I recall that you had a teaching stint back home. Any delightful stories that come to mind? <laughs> yeah, too many to count. Uh, but then again, these admission documents will take us a while to complete. I'll see if I can dig up any stories for you.
We've arrived! Why do you always fall asleep when we're warping? I couldn't even wake you up. What have you been doing at night instead of sleeping? All right. Let's go check in. Himeko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. Welcome to the Reverie, distinguished shareholders. Oh! I almost forgot that we're Penicone shareholders. Upon hearing the news that you were returning to Penicone, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. They are ready for you anytime. Um, six? That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Yang, Pom Pom had already checked in three days ago. Pom Pom? What are you talking about? I see. We thank the family for their gracious hospitality. Please help us with the check-in. Of course. Your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Panacone. We didn't have an enjoyable stay the last time, though. Um, apologies for interrupting you earlier. Uh, Don Hung, do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel, too? If my guess is correct, it's probably Boot Hill checking in under Pom Pom's name. Yes. When we worked together in Penacone the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then, too. <sighs> He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Boot Hill? What is he doing here? I don't know. Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boot Hill will do anything that is, uh, detrimental to the Express. Since uh, Pom Pom checked in three days ago, we can probably find him in the dream. We'll ask him more about it then. Uh, let's get going then. A Paperfold University is located in the Moment of Soul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school. So let's meet at the gates! I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. <laughs> uh, time to enter the dream. Hurry up! I hear that the major shareholders have already arrived at the lobby. Don't alarm them! I know! But that fellow was running in this direction! Oh, how did he disappear so quickly? Shh! Someone else is here! Who are you? Oh, cut it out! Everyone who comes here calls themselves a VIP. It doesn't mean anything to me by this point. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. Yellow eyes, ribbons that serve no purpose on his clothes? I think he's the major shareholder you were talking about. What? For the love of... Couldn't you have said that earlier? <clears throat> I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The Bloodhounds are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please, be at ease and enjoy your stay. But... The suspect! You... S sustainable Ah, yes, sustainable We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some, but these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests, so the Bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take our leave for now. Please have a good rest! Um, please stay safe and be careful in the dream! All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. 
I'm confused. Maybe I should look around before I enter the dream? I can't open the box. Something just doesn't feel right. But I can't keep March 7th and Don Hong waiting. Uh, never mind. I'll head to sleep for now. Huh? <sighs> well, this place sure is sealed off. No other way. I have to borrow your bed. <sighs> Please forgive me. Focus on your breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. An island. 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 Did I just see something strange? Uh, huh. Is this Paper Fold University? It doesn't look much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. Also, what's that? Banana, banana. Thank <laughs> you. 
na 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 Ha! By the great land above! Ha! A most terrifying close call that was. But fear not. The darkest hour of the night may be upon us, but this majestic skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt! Huh? Yo, yo! Under starry skies, evil low and high. Helpless folk in the dark fighting for their lives. Silent ninja arc written down in red tears. Noble ninja hearts in the night join here. Stormy tides crashing forth, all evil slain. Come the dawn, shining sparks lighting up again. Yo, yo, dazzling ninja. AKA Rappa, nice to meet ya. Uh. kind of devious trap is this? Not only are there feedlings abound, but there are also concealed weapons flying about! Ha! I'm afraid you're mistaken. You're simply too good-hearted to realize that the feedlings were manipulating its landing spot with sorcery! On, feedlings, or I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu! That's impossible! How can it be? I... I am unable to communicate with these feedlings. Here it is again. That strange feeling. Be on your guard. This is also part of the feeling sorcery. Hang in there. I'll get you out of this right away. Dazzling palm, righteous shot! Humble apologies. Dazzling Palm was designed to deliver a powerful impact to the soul. I've endeavored to control my strength, but some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. True colors now that your evil schemes have been exposed. They're calling for their fellow ape feelings. Please take cover behind me. <laughs> World cleansing dragon. <laughs> on me. <laughs> Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. No good. We better get moving. I never leave a question unanswered. I am a ninja, aka Rappa. 
As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There are still feedlings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Singing monkeys and a singing ninja. <laughs> Am I dreaming? You are indeed dreaming. You can return to a safe location after touching this object. Pinacani truly is filled with boundless mysteries. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? Oh, a strong name. Well met, baseball bat ninja. Forgive me for speaking out of turn, Baseball Bat Ninja, but for your safety, you and your companion should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these fiendlings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the ninja hero's arch enemy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja Osaru! It's time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. Uh, this does look like the way out. Let's go. Ago, in a world far away, there was a city that flourished under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace, and happiness could be felt even in the sewers of the Ninja Capital. Until... An evil doer known as Eva Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and laid claim to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, Agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear I will train hard until I become the dazzling ninja. An admirable resolution. Uh, to contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. What should I be called? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Huh. 
What a baffling dream. I should now be at Paperfold University, right? and a ninja. Mm, that doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacony. It seems more like a dream bubble. Uh, those monkeys you were talking about? Is that them? Uh, I knew you had to be talking about Slumber Nana Monkey! Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Paperfold University. It's more beloved than Clocky. Slumber Nana Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. It lives a carefree life in the moment of Slumber Nana. Is it also a cartoon character created by the watchmaker? Uh, no, no. It only appeared recently. It's a... Uh, what's it called again? A me... Uh, a meme! No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up... Bananies that only fellow fans would understand. And even created sticker packs and fan works. Uh, the most popular one is the Slumber Nana song. Bananana! Bananana! Oh, you know the song? Not bad. You're keeping up with the trends. How do you know so much? Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go! A spectacular campus life awaits us! Why is the family running a school in a dream anyway? Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers, and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. Later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations, and the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and Fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Wow. Is this really a school? It looks grander than the theme park. Paperfold University's motto is Color your dreams, free your ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Are you Slumber Nana Monkey's right banana, too? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a right banana. Is that a plush next to you? 
I bought this from the creator's market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Why are the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams troupe? Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams troupe to be substitute teachers. Banana. Don't you worry. The banana advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our banana academic standards remain top-notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first, Banana. Oh, I sure will. I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. <laughs> That's all right. Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. You there! Please, wait a moment! Huh? Are you talking to us? And you are? You guys were easy to spot! You, the pink pretty girl with the camera! You're St. Cheese, aren't you? That's me! I heard college students love nicknames, so I decided to go by my online handle. Hi there! I'm Treasure Nana from the campus group chat. You can call me Montana. Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hung. It refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. Aww, a family assigns every student their major? It doesn't sound very harmonious to me. Don't worry, if a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Panacone relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh, that's reality for you. Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the Creator's Market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Bana! Uh, the teachers and students here sure are... <laughs> unique. Uh, no one is going to buy that. You're never afraid of anything. Uh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean! Look! Dean is going on stage! What? No way! The Dean is... Uh... <laughs> Hello, students. Or should I say, Ben and Jour? <laughs> on 
Is this a gag? I'm Professor Freeman. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. Ah. My dearest students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credits. <laughs> Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams, free your ideas. Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than the rumors say. It really suits Pentacon. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. Settle down, settle down. Please, quiet down. Get back to your seat. Turn off all recording devices. Get ready. The film is about to begin. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Rekka. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. Uh, Mr. Rekka, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. Oh my god, it's him! It's Mr. Rekka in the flesh! Cast members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please, stay in character. Ah, oh, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Ah, Mr. Rekka. 
He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watch documentaries. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Uh, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner hmm, presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. Oh. Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. What? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Miss Sedina, in your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. What? <coughs> Academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You can't dictate what we do, A according to Academy Regulations. According to Academy Regulations. Think carefully now. What do the Academy Regulations say exactly? The Academy Regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Uh, wait! But you're the examiner! What's going on here? Good, you finally connected the dots! On my set, the director's word is law. What? Well, I... Uh, huh? Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. Uh, it looks similar. But it can't be, right? Hey, student with the gray hair! It's your turn! Go to the performing arts classroom. Uh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! Ha <laughs> Welcome! To the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. I will be watching your every move on camera. I know your Pentaconi's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director, change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! <laughs> You're confident. Good. A confident performer tends to delight the audience with surprises. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Ha ha ha! 
joking with the examiner during an exam. You were the desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Very good. Staying calm and sanguine is essential when you're on stage. It is a talent most performers yearn for. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme, or perhaps a dream, that belongs solely to you? Congratulations on having a clear goal. Your film will surely be a hit at the box office. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were humorous, like a celebrity in front of a camera. Combined with your experience in winning the festivity auditions, the best academy for you is... Charmony Academy! What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Very good. I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Charmony Academy. Here is your student card. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring! This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Miss Shureka says some strange things. My exam is over. I'll wait for March 7th and dawn home. Academy instead of Charmony Academy. I really thought I had the acting chops. Now I have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? 
Aww, as expected of Panacone's festive superstar. I'm so jealous. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Tan Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhu Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? Oh, look! There are so many students here! And so many booths! Are they all set up by student clubs? Hmm, let's get something to eat while we walk. Hello, and welcome to the dessert club. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome! Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Oh, did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, but we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this! The first thing you must choose for your dessert is... the banana! There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wok rainforests, the intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning, and the extinct golden slumber nana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to Dreamscape cooking. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing, as Donna's specialty cinnamon and the hotel's special chili sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because paper-fold university students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. Oh, wow. This flavor. I've never tasted a banana this good. Oh, this dessert is so tasty. I feel so happy. Oh, there's also a unique spicy taste. Like a warm current spreading through my mouth. Awesome! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> It feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart, whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. 
you're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy, I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions? Uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Uh, feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Oh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey! Oh, uh, welcome! Welcome! Uh, welcome to the Toys and Models Club! Oh, it's you guys! I, I'm Dylan Richie from the group chat! You can call me Richie. You know us? Of course! You're the festive superstar! The Nameless and Panacone shareholders! Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forms were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. The toy talks? This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock. So, act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 alpha, alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. This is the lowest price, buddy. You can't even buy a meal in the golden hour with this amount of credits. Oh, wonderful, huh? Thank you for your purchase. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Uh, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> the demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. It's customary for new products to be available for pre-orders only. My apologies. Uh, don't worry. Once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. Uh, no, I'll personally deliver it to you. Uh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Why is there a crowd blocking the way? Where's it? Uh, hi. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait. Don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. School uniforms aren't free. Go buy one from the faculty office. Wait, President. I've read about them on the paperfold forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penacone shareholders? My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm or my home? Ugh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Oh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. Um, is that the person up ahead? Oh, darn, it's her! Ha! Found you! You're not getting away this time! Ninja and Nishikigaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end! You're right, dazzling ninja! They are the warriors of this land! No! They're the evil spirits drawn to our sins! Lament.
lamentable. My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. Your determination is admirable. Ninja initiate Gagaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. <gasps> Do you hear that? Evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninjutsu! Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Unbelievable! You, from the Performing Arts Club. That woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. Oh, come on, just play along. The camera was rolling. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is. She's perfect! Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gagaku was purely happenstance, but I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. Uh, do you know her? So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters! Victory for the ninjas! You! Put on your school uniform, or it's a demerit! Huh? Baseball bat ninja! It is good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, nameless ninjas. I am Rappa, AKA the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless ninjas? Are you talking about the nameless? Well, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he's Don Hung. What strong names. Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu. Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja Hiryu Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um, she's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a ninja two planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball bat ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together. Um, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course. That is exactly why I'm here. But before that, there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Oh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! Concert ticket! <gasps> You're still here! Thank goodness! Ninja Initiate Gagaku, what ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character! Use my stage name! Nana Bloom John! classmate from Tokiwa calls me that. Isn't it cute? You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! Uh, that's a really long name. This 
challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great. Let's take some photos together. If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigagaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test, more than the models. Uh, what? Um, uh, uh, can't you do it? Please, I really want my own photo shoot. I'm begging you. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck! As for our prop... <gasps> Let's use the Slumber Nana Monkey Toy! All right, make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shot. Ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite! Huh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand audition, too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun! <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me. Why have you been following us all this time? Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. Uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Silver Gun Shura! Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title, Ninja Hero! Uh, they both mean the same thing? Well, so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but... Why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penikami is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his fiendlings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Uh -huh. Do you know what she's talking about? I can hear you. <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. Hmm. Would help if we could get in touch with Boothill. 
I wonder where he is. And sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. That's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But, if you ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Huh? but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? <laughs> no, <laughs> it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rapper, but I don't see anything strange going on here. I'll ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Uh, it doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... Huh? Who are you? Now come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just uh, make way, will you? <laughs> so what? You hired this guy to be your thug? <laughs> No, I, I, I don't know this man either. But thug or no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. <sighs> Fork in hell. You hard of hearing or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who have already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? Wait a sec. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas. When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Bananas. Son of a banana! Ugh, what the banana fudging Sunday? <sighs> Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody! First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happen to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? 
That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go! Hold on! You banana, my Sunday! Oh, forget it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally, someone sensible. I know what you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, I gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues of monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a galaxy ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone, and now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumbered Anna Monkey. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance, just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumbered Anna Monkey. The young people love it. The real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, <laughs> those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides, for a very long time, this was the only place in Penacony that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? <sighs> the answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> you still worried about something? <sighs> Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that. Consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? 
It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him. You're not making things easy here. You say you're a slumber Nana monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait, I uh, just let my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is, is, may all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. Hold it right there. Here for the Slumber Nana Association event, sir. Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Ugh, another bandwagoner? Exit's over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Uh, listen, buddy. Uh, don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? Like that gal from just now. Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Nana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Nana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? Oh, banana, my Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know? Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay, we'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? Shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast, but this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Uh, is something the matter, Miss Robin? 
Nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, maybe I should have just kept it at Mr. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> bananas? Oh, God! I just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Uh, hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh, oh. Fork? Fudge? Fudge! Holy shirt balls, I'm back to normal! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Two? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately, to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve, so it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly... off about the Dreamflux Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey? As I expected. It's come to your attention, too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Summer Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well, don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at, but why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? <sighs> Long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first, I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <sighs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> Tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudgeheads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> to be honest, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to songwriting. This song was taken from somewhere else. But the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling Slumber Nana Monkey's story, so I wrote new lyrics for it. This is 
the Slumber Nana Traveler. I hope you find it appealing. <laughs> I've wandered far, I've wandered wide with Slumber Nana Monkey. Its voice so clear, its voice so bright, tells me to remember. When you're tired, take a rest, take a break, it's for the best. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. They're even singing about it now. So, uh, what's your expert opinion on this? I love it. A song finds meaning in its existence. Only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is, it can never take song away from the people. Look like someone had placed that monkey beside my pillow. Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Ah, uh, you. What? Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello. Oh my! I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamfuck 3? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together?! I must be the luckiest man alive! If it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in! You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person. Like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say! Good things come in pairs! There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here! Bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. Huh? 
Do you need something else? Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumbernana Association way too lightly if you ask me. But here goes. What tiers make up the Slumbernana Association's membership hierarchy? Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Bingo, on to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Exactly. That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you've passed. That was impressive. This way, sir. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Butella. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ... certain means of doing things, it'll be for the better if I'm not around. <laughs> As expected of one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Huh. Strange. They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys, monkeys, more monkeys. They're all muddled fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Osaru, the doggone little fudger. This is way too familiar, sad for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh, thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Boothill. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then, I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later. Mr. Boothill. Well, fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. Hmm. 
That was quick. <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation right so soon. Ah, bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that me? To defeat evil Ninju Osaru, this girl has become the successor to the dazzling ninjutsu. Adopting the codename of Rappa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rappa master the secrets of the ninja arts, Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rappa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. Ninja Initiate Rappa. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Reach boot hill. Do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Come to think of it. Ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Huh? I thought all classes were cancelled. A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, 
sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dream weaving classes at the stage plaza. Let's go take a look. Subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the slum banana monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball Pet Ninja! Ninja Ruby! Ninja Hiryu! You don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got everyone. All right, let's dive right into our academics. Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic dye, which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall! The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey! So, this class is about painting? No, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, Banana. How did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, Banana! I see. <laughs> Banana. Hmm? Banana, banana, don't worry! Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand banana gibberish better! <laughs> Great! Ah, that's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. This class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananies too, Don Hung. How about he and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. <laughs> Quit the act already. Hurry up! Uh, banana advisor? Oh, we would love to try. <laughs> me, uh, me too! Excellent! You can all come up here. Those who excel might even earn some course credits, banana! Hurry! 
Don't dawdle or the class will be over, but uh... First, calm your mind. Then, visualize what you want to create. Long time no see, Outlander. You are our clan savior, and the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? <laughs> Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. Completed already? Well, it's just in time. Let's assess your work. Ah, what's going on here? Only trash cans? Where's the monkey? Zero points from me! Outlander, I'm grateful for the artwork. True dignity lies in staying faithful to what you believe is right. Let's move on to the next student. What in bananas is this? Formidable ice mastery. Ninja Ruri truly proves her might. Well, this dream weaving method feels just like condensing six phased ice. I can barely tell them apart. That's impressive, Bana! Weaving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver! Wow, Mr. Rekka was telling the truth. I truly am a genius! Uh, I'm giving it a big fat zero. Uh, why? I gave you a theme, and that's Slumber Nana Monkey, not this 
giant useless block of eyes. Even pro Dreamweaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them. <sighs> what even? The Prof Nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom, and you're not even making the slightest effort in your class. You're allowed to disrupt my class, and I get to flunk you for that. That's freedom for you. You pay a price for trying to be creative. Now, get back to your seat for now. Uh -huh. How unreasonable. Moving on to the last student. Where's your design? Slumber Nana Monkey! Slumber Nana Monkey! Alright, that's enough. Mumbling won't weave you any dreams. You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours. Zero points for turning in nothing! Wait, I just need some more time. Even if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything! Not when you are not passionate about Slumber Nano Monkey. Oh, you're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Ah, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas! Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, banana. You can't possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up for now. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so... Please, cast your attention this way. B what? B who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, Big Head Feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just point one microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What the nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate Patissia needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, ninja initiate Patissia? Huh? Um... As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, pythons slither without feet, as manta rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction! <sighs> Whatever it takes, I really need to earn my credits! Cheating banana! Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja. Uh, yeah, you were being way too mean to her. And my six phase dice is pretty good too. Ah, you 
You've really been annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Alas, the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion. Give it to them, Assistant Nanas! Show those unruly students what it means to be disciplined! Banana! World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. It doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed it. The university failed to take these nan advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the dreamweaving class, but it seems like it was the sweet dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Pardon me. But I don't think I have seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Penacony. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. And you seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is... If the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are there really ninjas on your planet? Hmm. Uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Looks like things blew up real quick. 
Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. Jeez, please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher. Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hung and Superstar 2! We meet again! <laughs> um, I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha! You can drop Montana, too! I'm now known as Denisovan426! Denisovan426? That's right! I finally got into the Slumber Nana Association, the GOAT Club at Paperfold University, and that's my name in the club! That's my membership number! Each member has their own unique number! The Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey. Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Penacony. We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off-campus events from time to time. Would you to join us? I can refer you! Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun! Can you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer March in, then the two of you... <sighs> I'll pass. Okie dokie! This coveted spot will go to March then! Oh, there's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious location! I can't wait! Great! Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up! Good job playing along back there, guys! Things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you be alright on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too! Catch you guys later! Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. <clears throat> Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Bana. What was that? Huh? Slumber Nana Monkey? I see a tag on it. P. Lynn Ritchie, Fortune Academy. This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. ran off. What now? All right, let's go get the toy back then. Uh. Does this toy have a life of its own? Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rappa, when it- Give me a break, miss! I I'll repeat this for the millionth time! I'm not evil! Nor do I sell any Gorge Road! Nay, Ninja Initiate Merchant! 
the other initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop. Confess at once! Are you under the spell of evil ninja Osaru? Oh, hey, it's you! Uh, please, uh, help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Fiendling puppets imbued with life. The epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. If, if it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie! How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Oh, Fortune Banana Advisor! A customer is always right! So I'll not teach you that! Greetings, dear students! This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare! Uh, psst, an advisor? The customer is always right. Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know. Struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Thanaconians do. But the Slumber Nana Monkey is the perfect companion! It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana! But my gosh, look at the time! I have to get ready for my Dreamscape marketing class! Excuse me, students. I'll take all other questions after class. I, I should get to my class, too. But do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! Banana! This atmosphere... Is this... Behold, a sensational wave that's been raking in all the money these days. Now, let's take some time to think about this slogan. What is it about Slum Banana Monkey that allowed it to spark a banana frenzy in Pinnacle? How about that gray-haired student? Wait. What are you doing here? Oh, I, never mind. You can answer the question, then. <laughs> Not quite. While banana gibberish and bananese helped propagate the banana craze, the key lies in how Slum Banana Monkey addresses the pain point of Pentaconian consumers. 
both rich and poor alike come to Panacone in the hope of leading a more fulfilling life. Unfortunately, a couple of days in the dreamscape is all it takes for them to realize this is nothing more than a fantasy. Dream chasers soon give in to exhaustion, and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivities. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slumbernana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. Banana, na, banana, na. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Don't you Academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slumber Nana Monkey toy? Banana Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slumber Nana Monkey's popularity! Come with me, Richard. I'll get you more stuck. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys. But why did they rope students into their plan? But, uh, but, uh. Mm, it's a shame we don't understand it's Bana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? I'm counting on you, Bana. Huh? It's working! Huh. Seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? merchant and seemly uh fortune banana advisor aren't we supposed to pick up more stock i don't see anything here jeez dream weaver banana advisor said he get a new batch ready looks like we can't rely on him but not this. by the way banana advisor did those people willingly become monkeys? Of course, Richie! Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, I... I... guess not. <laughs> I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you could compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to 
make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperfold University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? Oh, but no, how touching. How did you know that? Bana, bana. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life's savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So... I instilled in him the tenets of our banacademics, convincing him that becoming a slumber nana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? What? How could you? But uh... Could it be? Father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. <laughs> Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some worth out of yourself, but <laughs> I assured your father that you'll get to be happy like him. <laughs> it's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? <sighs> Dad, there's nothing else keeping me going. But not. Happening to Richie. We have to stop him. Feeling pest. What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah. How did a ninja get in here? Ninjutsu inscriptions. Sizzling Yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not, jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Bana? Uh, Deceitful feeling. You spoke with a forked tongue. They can't prove a word of your claims. Bananas! Monkeys can't speak the human language! 
In that case, your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunters hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you. Say your final words, feeling pest. A banana was that? Assistant Evans, beat her to a pulp! Any chance those banana advisors are actual facts? Just what is your goal? Watch your head. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. All in. Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Dreadfully horrid. Ah, looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. No matter. The Feedling deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja Initiate Merchant, though. But, uh... Initiate merchants succumb to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's... Dr. Primitive, isn't it? Astute! Evil ninja Osaru! It's definitely evil ninja Osaru! <sighs> Member number 64 of the Genius Society, Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Teletrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition, <sighs> even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated,
stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silver Gun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silver Gun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's... Ninja Gamma! Oh! <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um... Do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but... The Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here! To recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh-huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And... I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Old friend. Banana! Banana! Fail! 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 You didn't capture stubborn banana monkeys! Five parts laziness, three parts cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all! <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmony Banana Visor! It's so hard to play a monkey. <sighs> An utter disappointment to the monkeys! <sighs> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it! They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being, Banana! Charmony Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking? To have potential, Fina Fina. I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm. Is this evil fiendling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean, uh, I'm a Charmony Banana Advisor. <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka. Have faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the Banana Advisor what you're capable of.
Why, Subbernana monkeys are star. What else were you expecting? Meows and woofs? Uh, let's assign the actors to their roles then. The leading role of brave monkey shall be... Mr. Rekka, I, I, I want to try this role again. Vanilla! Ooh, your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more shot. Brave Monkey is known for its can-do attitude, too. Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, superstar. <laughs> The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. Uh, but yes, we'll need someone to narrate. Rapa the narrator, this is your role. A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? <sighs> so be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Actors, are you banana ready? Then get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, banana. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscapes glowing, gold halls flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. are you reciting? This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it. Focus on slumber nana monkey only. Nothing else matters. Then I'll continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorched earth, laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand, ha, <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Name's Devil of Stress, straight out of hell. Students better quit playing, ring the alarm bell. One word from me, the whole zone's in despair. Leaving scars so deep, take a lifetime to repair. Such a tyrannical rendition of the mantra of the ninja, baseball bat ninja. Oh, fail! This isn't a rap class. Bana, bana, bana. Fail! Brave Monkey is the savior of our university! It would never utter such dainty Bina gibberish! So sorry, Bina! Let me try that again! Bina! 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 Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword ready for the fight to break. Bina! Bina! They're messing it up again! Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the Devil of Stress at this point! How can it possibly have so much grit? So, so sorry, Bina. I'll try again. Bina! Bina! It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey.
Good for nothing, monkey. <laughs> You're no match for me, loser monkey. Go back home and chomp on your bananas instead. Fail! I don't feel an ounce offended by your failure of a demeaning provocation. You're only coming off as a cutie banana pie. <laughs> banana, banana. The heroes down and out defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Banana, banana, banana. Na -ba -na. You! Your lines are fine. Go on. Next line. <sighs> Thanks for quenching her wrath, Donong. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt, Brave Monkey. Your grit's worth a nod, but you're no less of a dud. Better learn how to flow or get lost in the flood. With me spitting power, a zillion times yours gonna have to concede or crawl home on all fours. Stellarly brutal! You've attained the skills of a semi-emanator when it comes to reciting the ninja mantra! Fail! We're in an acting class! Stop applying whatever you learned in music! <sighs> Oh, fail, fail, fail! Stop filming, Miss Sereka. None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkeys, Banana. Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Rekka's films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishigagaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. <laughs> you think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class! <sighs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap out the actors. Stop! No, not yet. The show still isn't over. Banana, ah. banana. Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Are you all right? But. But now. Bana! Bana! Bana? 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 Looks like the Bana academics is taking effect. Bana. Congratulations, students! Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors! Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still lucid? <gasps> Truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, I just chop! Ah. 
Ah. Ow! What, what happened? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, the Stoneheart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishiki Gaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> is this going to be about ninjas? No, but we've come to the climax of the film. Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even? I said to stop filming! Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I am the director. Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electric Trifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> if you unruly students insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective bananishment. Teach them a lesson, Assistant Annas! From this very moment, back down, retreat, the hero says never. The way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With feeling blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school will cast off every shackle, every chain. Hey! Do I really have to fight too? <laughs> Like you are destined doing nothing. Just accept the grace of a happy life. Destined? All nonsense. The ninja's blade, hand in the sever, the chain of cause and effect. Wicked tongues, wicked lies, all of them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero, here to keep it cool. <sighs> Ninja Nishikigaku, deliver your final line. Uh, Rene! Oh, scratch that. Evil thing! Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Nishikigaku down! It's victory for us ninjas! Hooray! Yeah! Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on. <laughs> Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paper Fold University. All right now, dear actors. Ever heard of a mimetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world, and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of Actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, 
All ninja initiates of Paper Full Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despidious, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! Uh, what are you talking about? Are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes, the general plot direction is on point. But, Ninja Gama, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Oh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> Castle Showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm, no appointment or a polite knock on the door, but I welcome you nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion! I urge you to come clean now. You're evil ninja Osaru's fiendling chief, aren't you? Uh, uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? The short story is that a memetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber Nana Monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But nah. Uh, you're thinking too highly of this place. Panacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Here, it's just me, a second-class research aide working in Penacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey, especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, They'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape, the moment of slumber nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Endless atrocities that Osaru unleashed onto the world, just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? What the- Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas reproduce? To maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. Hmm. That's correct. Five amber eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deem perfect. The Golden Slumber Nana. The Golden Slumber Nana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious. Sweet and its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. 
it transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slumber nana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course! The Golden Slumber Nana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years. Much like Penacone as we know it. It's a pity those on Penacone just had to be second-rate copycats. What with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment, the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. However, I have visited those planets. As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. <sighs> but I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was once a sailor. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet, even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or, could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners, <laughs> all they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, Everything ought to be used to its full potential. Uh, how long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. <clears throat> Your scheme ends here. Oh, is that so? Ever considered why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? even going as far as to guide you to me. Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But if it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Bana, bana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. <laughs> All right.
right, uh, get ready to switch scenes! Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression! Demands? I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal! I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, disrupted the family's surveillance, and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Wrecker, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof. Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified, great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fucking banana. That line again. And that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany, every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. <sighs> Wanna vote a horse manure? I'm checking somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait! Where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in, so don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least, stop pointing your gun at people. I appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has he, uh... Astral Express begun to take on... monkeys. I wasn't expecting that either. But the assistant Anna's insist, I'm a great talent! They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance! Wait... Talented for a club that 
advocates the abandonment of all thought? Ain't wrong, am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Well, I was just listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. So, what brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. We go bananas at the mere sight of them. So, he's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. Uh, no, no. I guess you could say he is a fugitive. <laughs> what? Yada yada, tell her my last story then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Makes sense. This is downright bananas. Hey, nameless gal. Can we have a little talk over yonder? Uh, just me? Why can't we just talk here? Um, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, March. What are you up to? I only just convinced her everything's fine, you know. Awful chummy with someone you just met, ain't you, friendo? All right, great nameless one. Drop the act already. What's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Dr. Primitive? Dr. Primitive? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. Oh, I see. Uh huh, exactly as we suspected. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? <sighs> there ain't a thing here. But who cares? Seen this plenty of times. There's only one solution. We've all rid this rodeo, so I reckon I don't need to spell it out. Um, yes. I totally agree. Well, sweet. All right, then. Uh, help to tear me this become a high-ranking member. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Uh, I was just trying to make a joke, but you took it even further? You're ruffling my bananas now. That wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for a one-way ticket to the other side. But they only planted kids in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitives use others as scapegoats. I ain't gonna step on the same rake twice. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? <laughs> you ever seen a squib load? When timed right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. Now, I got no clue what kind of monkey business this club's up to. I know from the static noise at Dreamflux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pentaconi. They'll definitely step in if we raise the roof off of this place. Unless you've got a better idea you can think of. But let's do it my way, Star Member. Uh, I do have an idea. Sort of. Uh, just hold your horses. Let's go back and meet Montana first. 
Remember, be nice. Travelers. It's only normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was wanted on a few occasions too. Uh, maybe a dozen times? Uh, never mind, that's not important now. Let's talk about the Slumber Nana Association. There's an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? March, you remembered wrong again. This is far grander than a seminar. I guess you could call it a theophany. In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual slumber nano monkey in the flesh. Holy bananas! There are ripoffs of this thing. <laughs> That's not it. Slumber Nana Monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a Slumber Nana Monkey that started it all, and we're about to see it! The original Slumber Nana Monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. Uh, I'm not quite following, but... It sounds impressive, I guess. We have a few other students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing really, but they had this look. Um, like they'd been to the world's end. Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that too. Well, ain't that something? I reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, huh? Uh, hey, hold up! Where are you heading off to again? <laughs> hey there, pal. Banana... Banana... Banana? See me, right? But now, but now, but now. TV gotta be this complicated. Oh, you're back! Uh, this is the theophany that Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently through forming some kind of connection with the Assista Nana. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey? No, not her. Just me. Uh, trying to worm your way in again, huh? But you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. You look unfamiliar. But you don't seem like a regular member either. 
That's right. Been told I'm quite talented. Huh? What talent do you have? I'm Denisovan 244, March 7th. Oh, it's you! Yes, I've heard about you. You have the potential to truly reach the source. Please, come over to me. Uh, not so fast. What are you up to this time? The dimmer of us two plays a bait. The other gets ready to fight. Keep watch outside. Hey, wait! to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. Hmm. What's the big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? We meet again, sir. <laughs> I've seen run-down saloons fancier than this place. You call this a theophany? Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method, entirely opposite to the values that the Slumber Nana Monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something, but these tend to be the usual truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here. Only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? <laughs> Have patience. I will explain everything in detail. For example, if I asked you to give up malt juice, what would be your first thought? You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. Uh huh? Don't pull that nonsense on me. A classic will always be a classic. Ah, hold on there, partner. Sometimes, you gotta try something new. Introspection is key no matter the hour. <laughs> you see, these are the thoughts that come to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regret. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. If the dependence on the drink was never there to begin with, this problem would naturally not exist, and the resulting thoughts would also disappear. Here's a question. Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Holy bananas. What's gone into me? He's right. I I don't have the urge to drink at all. <sighs> Messing around in my head like that. No wonder the synesthesia beacon's all screwed up. <sighs> no. This busted thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Moving on. 
Let's turn our attention toward issues that are a little more um, complicated. Say, your hatred for the IPC. I see. That is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know, think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble, you banana. Calm yourself. Slumber Nana Monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. Now that's something even I'd find annoying. Instead, it'd support you taking vengeance into your own hands. Just like this. <laughs> you understand me? Bring it on! Watch your head! Those with the most gun, those who dig the little grave. No dirty tricks, all right. It's on me. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. Let's duel! <laughs> There's your reward! Those with the most gun, those who dig the little grave! Can you find the answer? No dirt, spend freely. <laughs> Watch your head! Bring it on! You me? Yeah! Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Let's duel. <laughs> Time's up. Watch your head. Can you find the answer? There's your reward. How do you feel? What a load of hogwash. You reckon taking aim at phony targets is gonna get your blood pumping? I understand. But venting your anger can help relieve the tension you built up. And when that happens, you'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, Imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. For a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life, what would happen if their hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? Yes. Rotten bananas. What wacky theory are you trying to prove? <sighs> Well, what the heck? I actually feel pretty good right now. I, yeah. Who banana fudging cares about revenge? Excellent. You're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson then. Galaxy Ranger. I know very well hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. This will be your toughest lesson. But I'll be with you throughout. Now then. Will this make you worse off, Mr. Ranger? I ain't 
quite sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. Nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? This isn't the first time we've met, but you can call me Prof Nana Primon. Oh, a cultured soul then. No, I'm just a research ape. And you, you'll soon be mentioned in my research report. Handling the commotion at the university is easy. The main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed down. And with that, the class here has come to an end. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. Losing it will not make you any worse off. Colors will not make you any worse off. Sounds will only introduce frustration and anxiety. Miss Nameless. As for your ranger friend, you just single-handedly destroyed his path to happiness. Uh, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Naturally. Resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. Montana? Mark 
March 7th? What are you trying to do? Uh, gosh, Montana! Don't you see what's going on? The bad guy's the one behind you! How could you say that? And here, I thought you loved Slumber Nana Monkey from the bottom of your heart! Y you Banna? Oh, Montana. Uh, I think... Let's get out of this place now. Hurry! As you wish. I look forward to you providing the last link in my proof. You're a sicko! This way! Why do you seem so out of it? Haven't you woken up yet? Bana... Bana Bana? Uh, what's your problem? Why are you blocking our way? You're free to leave if you wish. But not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Mm-hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all forms of corruption. Ah, a galaxy ranger like him. It'll be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Let me guess. You want to call for help right away, because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. If that's the case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? Uh, that can't be right. Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Uh, hey! But, sir... Killing folks is against the law, especially when it's a lovely lady like her. I'm the star of the show now. All because of this here gun. Oh, it's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take a life. I have no such intention. How about the two of you settle your own scores while I'll be on my way? You? Wait a minute. Is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is merely a hollow dream. So even if they turned into monkeys here, their physical bodies in the real world will not be subjected to any biological deterioration. The ranger's extraordinarily staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey, nor is he a galaxy ranger. He's a young Boot Hill, one from many years back. Back when his homeland hadn't been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves, this version of him is at least ten years removed from the older Boot Hill, when he first fired a shot at a bandit. Miraculous. Be it the Sweet Dreams troop or myself, he can end it all with just one shot. But it just so happens that the decision to pull the trigger 
has to be made by his soul rather than his body. The child version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. All right, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive. A traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Dreams. Uh, hey! Don't go over there! Be quiet, young lady. And mind your manners while class is in progress. Am I... dreaming? Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I, I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in a far-off future. <laughs> what a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? <laughs> well, no. <sighs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. You'd be willing to die. Right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. <sighs> Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Death is the fairest form of grace. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe? In the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand his philosophy. And with that, a star will pitifully fizzle out. No problem, teacher. But uh, there's something else I have to tell you. I was worried about missing my shot. But now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. What? <laughs> How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now, there ain't no problem. Because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, alright? Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? It's as Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. How did things take such a turn? You're just a child! 
even for someone born with a bad nature. The first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience. Huh. Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Would it be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun? <laughs> Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's to put a bullet in anything evil, muddle fudger. I'll let you in on the secret, little fudgehead. Tamper with my synesthesia, people. I'm gonna put a bullet in I think this is the fault of being talking. <laughs> no, sure, Paul. I actually mean Death is the fairest form of grace. Especially for the most pudding like you. We're only becoming the worst forms of evil with time. Look out! Those with the most gun. Those dick of grave. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off! That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. Oh! Uh, am I late? You referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh, right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. Get my head checked? What in forking hell are... Huh? My synesthesia beacon's back to normal. Dagnabbit! <laughs> that's forking amazing! Hot diggity fudge! Uh-huh? So, you're saying everything went back to normal once you smashed this thing to pieces? Ugh, I see. No wonder those assistant Annas only want to teach students one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, Nameless. No need for reinforcements, seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Forking hell. You think you can find a better shot than me and Pentacony? That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Reef as our starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all, and he will eventually cast his gaze upon us and the grand cause that we've forged together. Grand? Grand in what way, muddle fudger? All right, folks, eyes on me. Now listen here. This whole thing's a muddle fudger scheme. Go. Scurry off and hide. Ain't no harm in being foolish. But no one to steer clear. You two again. I can forget everything else you've done. But slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Primon? Do you even know what you're doing? Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it. You really think you can still convince him? Mr. Ranger, perhaps going back to our origins. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies or sob stories. You're a dastardly evildoer who will cease to exist once a bullet's put into you. <laughs> Guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. 
Since everything's turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. You catch my drift. See, I'm not here to teach a class, shirt brain. I've come to help. Class is over! <laughs> Elongates time, in the same way ramen noodles are stretched. The ninja capital has turned into an abyssal hell under the devastation of evil ninja Osaru. Even the mighty Lan would rather close their eyes to the capital's sorry state and let out a long sigh. The only remaining ninja, Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa, has trained an entire decade under the tutelage of Master Kucha, to be adept in a wide variety of ninjutsu, gaining also the ability to recite lengthy mantras fluently. But deep down, Master Kucha is aware that it is only when Rappa receives the tutelage of other ninja heroes and embarks upon the paramount way of the ninja as dazzling ninja can she save the entire ninja capital. In the darkest hour of the night, a falling meteor streaks across the sky, marking the graduation of Ninja Initiate Rappa and her new identity as Ninja Hero Rappa. Greetings. Who might you be? My pleasure to make your acquaintance, too. We are ninja heroes who have received the true teachings of the hunt. We come forth to punish evil ninja Osaru. Ninja hero? Huh. It seems that my trial has finally come to an end. Trial? The final trial of the Mako Age. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house, and end the catastrophe that has befallen this land. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? Oh, mighty Eon of the Hunt. What indomitable ninja spirit she has. Indeed, one as devoted as you rightfully deserves the title of Ninja Hero. Greetings, dazzling ninja. <sighs> Ten arduous years of training finally culminated in this. A new title will be conferred upon me today. I can proudly say that I have never gone against the tenets of dazzling ninjutsu all this time. <sighs> How I wish you were here to witness this glory of mine today, Master Kucha. With that, I shall continue my journey to take down the evil ninja. Farewell. Make no haste, since I am now a ninja hero fit to contend with the evil ninja. Would you let me join you in your crusade? No, for your hunt is long complete. This is mine, and mine alone. 
low, 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 lone. Cut! I see. This talent would do well in special effect films. <laughs> we have quite some fascinating actors today. One perpetually films before a green screen. Another has been through a change of identities. And... And you, of course. The one with the most potential. Festive superstar from the land of the dreams. Please, let me apologize once more. Yes, it is true that I had a working relationship with Prof Nana, but I was coerced into it. As a mimetic life form, I inadvertently fell into the hands of my enemies and became infected with a lethal mimetic virus. I see. The spatial ninjutsu that you displayed earlier was truly ingenious. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen collection. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, am I right to see your act of betrayal at the Dean's office as a ruse to teleport us to safety here? Perhaps I was just trying to bail myself out of the situation. Benai yourself? This seems to be the answer for everything. Bana gibberish has long infiltrated every cell and organ of our body. Since Penacone's dreams are rooted in the desires of the masses, the mimetic corruption has had an irreversible impact on the dreamscape itself. Slum Banana Monkey's sweeping craze wasn't the beginning of things. Rather, it heralded the end. From that point onward, the moment of Slumber Nana was fated to be born. But... What differentiates this from other mimetic viruses is the period and extent of its influence. Is that right? I'm impressed. It seems Don Hong is not only a skilled actor, but also has profound knowledge on communication theory. Friends come and go. But every single one of them eventually dies down. Much like how a violent storm quells with time. We may not be able to dampen the increasing popularity of Slumber Nana Monkey, but we can always work to hasten the trend's recession. How do we accomplish this, you ask? We'll have to introduce our lead actor for the night. Yes, it's none other than you, ninja actor. Hmm, the key is in my past, isn't it? Prof. Nana Preman once called you the Doctor's failed creation. I am extremely interested in this. What lies behind your insistence on narrating everything from the intriguing worldview of a ninja? When I made the connection between that and the Banacademics that we've seen earlier, I came to the realization that this might be the very reason you're immune to Slumber Nana Monkey's corruption. What Prof Nana said also hinted at a possibility that links everything else up. That this is but another one of Dr. Primitive's experiments. As for you, Actor Rappa, you were already infected with another mimetic virus. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when used correctly, the venom of a scorpion neutralizes snake venom, just as poison wine may sometimes be used to quench thirst. What you said is right. I once fell into the clutches of Osaru's domain, 
when sorcery ninjutsu was inflicted upon me. I had to undergo endless tribulations to break the fiendish spells. Only then did I manage to escape. That memory has long become a story I leave behind in my past. Though, if Penakani's future hinges on it... I am willing to bring back that memory and face it once more. Well, well, well. If the mimetic entities can overwrite one another, so can mimetic viruses. If we can just edit this virus out of our ninja actor's memory, there may be a way to destroy those nasty monkey synesthesia dreamscape. As the third act of a film, this can well be considered as a masterful development to the overall plot. And for the sake of propelling the plot forward, it looks like you'll have to take on a lead role again, actor superstar. Mimetic viruses, no matter the type, can be fatal to a memo keeper. But that's not the case for you. As the protagonist, you will surely be able to unveil the truth behind the numerous layers of foreshadowing in this film. Go on. Take my film reel and turn her memories into the MacGuffin that will shatter this plot once and for all. The menagerish in my mind is getting clearer now. I have to move quickly. Baseball Bat Ninja, are you ready to dive into my past? Make all necessary preparations. For you may be jolted out of sorts when we encounter the bloody, tearful, and ruthless moments in my memory. Pray tell, what does it mean to be a ninja hero? And how does one become a ninja hero? Through talent, lineage, inheritance, or being possessed by the ninja spirit. Nay, none of these. Across the wide expanse of the cosmic ninja realm, those who practice ninjutsu are as prevalent as flying fish row. Yet ninja heroes are as rare as precious golden pufferfish. At this juncture, the legendary scroll of the ninja hero is on the cusp of being unfurled. Do your best to maintain your sanity as you watch dazzling ninja's past unfold before you. Unlock requested. Insufficient clearance. Please enter password. An enchantment. It won't stop me. This is Rappa's voice. Is this a past version of her? Green. Pyo. To. Sha. Break. Password input correct. Live specimen gene editing disabled. Opening hatch. That's all there is to Osaru Seal. <laughs> Even while my senses are dulled by sorcery, I can still see the grotesque sins that are unfolding here. How detestable and deplorable indeed! I am now the self that Rappa remembers in her memories. So, this is the ninja capital? It's completely different from what I imagined. That should be the end of my trial. Time to return to Master and resume my training. Salutations, Master Kucha. I have... Deciphered the enchantment. D what? It's not even two system hours. 
Master Kucha, do I count as a ninja initiate now? <clears throat> um, why, yes. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. I will continue to train hard till the day I become the dazzling ninja that Master speaks of. An admirable resolution. Uh, to contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. Name? Is AKA3 a name? I don't know, my disciple. Your, your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Hmm. In that case, I choose Rappa. To have a dedicated heart that will never be disturbed. And to pacify all evil and demonstrate justice. That was Master's initial teachings to me. I wish to use them in my name. As you wish. Nice to meet you, Dazzling Initiate A.K.A. Rappa. You will now embark on an arduous training to become a ninja. Can you keep up? Certainly. Pain is but common to a ninja. And I shall never flinch in the face of it. No, it is a dazzling feeling under Master Kucha, though not directly. This feeling harbors just as much hatred for evil ninja Osaru. Number three, take medicine. Secret concoctions of concealed evil. It contains an excessive amount of ninja strength. Swallowing it means enduring bone-shattering pain. However, to become a ninja hero, I must consume these pills every day. Only then can I create a never-ending source of cosmic ninja strength within my body. Yes, this is a trial to temper my mind and body. Steel. Your nerves. A ninja hero never fears. <sighs> Swallow it. For the sake of the ninja capital. Uh, 
past this excruciating pain what Rappa endured back then? Us! Having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I will boast the impenetrable body of a ninja hero! This is Umbra Headmistress, the head of the dojo, and a reliable supportive figure for us dazzling students. She uses the Great Narukami Circle to awaken the latent potential of ninjas. After attaining enlightenment via reverse lightning ninjutsu, one's body can then possess extraordinary ninja senses. Number three, I'm about to increase the intensity. You better be able to handle it. The future of this laboratory is all in your hands. Yes, that is the plan. The future of the ninja capital shall be shaped by the dazzling ninja hero. I will definitely fulfill my promise. Put it on for the sake of becoming a ninja hero. This is... too much! Us! Having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I now boast the vast senses of a ninja hero. <sighs> These fiendlings are rebel apes of Osaru's clan. They would spar with me every day, improving my ninja skills and refining my ninja martial prowess. <laughs> Number three, stress response training tier four, fighting low-level combat apes. I have never won against these fiendlings, for I am still but a mere ninja initiate. Yet, if I am to become the dazzling ninja, I must vanquish these fiendlings. Only then can I be worthy of defeating evil ninja Osaru. To battle! Do not stop until the crows start calling at the crack of dawn. Let the hunt begin for the sake of defeating evil one day. Maybe I'll take it off! Watch your head! Ninjutsu inscriptions. The way of the ninja is long and windy, and trials and tribulations are mere amusements. Us! Having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I now boast the unrivaled stature of a ninja hero. Master Kucha, and Umbra Headmistress. Use a mimetic virus on number three. 
how would that help the experiment? I can clearly hear everything they're saying. Is my super hearing capable of picking up even whispers among ninjas now? Huh. A joyous discovery indeed. Denise event 22, we need to increase number three's mental resilience. Enough with these lame excuses. You just can't bear to see her suffer, can you? <clears throat> she might not be able to withstand the later experiments. If we use the mimetic virus to perform cognitive intervention and ensure that her mind remains stable, the experiments can proceed more smoothly. Fine. But make sure not to bring your personal feelings into this. The research apes aren't exactly happy about how you're allowing number three to run around at will. She's able to decipher the password to the modification cabin in just two system hours. There's no way we'll be able to cage her up like any old gorilla. Do not be troubled over me, Master. Mere physical suffering can never devastate my ninja spirit. Information dilution at 74%. Consciousness anchor locked on. Mimetic etching is about to begin. Ninja initiate rapper, are you ready? The illusory sorcery that the evil ninja cast upon you is about to be broken. Mimetic etching is about to begin. Let's get out of here, or we'll get affected as well. I... I see it now. To think... There's... Such a majestic capital... In the ninja world. Awesome! Looks like it was a success. Since we're on this... Why ninjas? Oh, uh, uh Because of the... Cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. The what now? In order to protect the helpless weak and save the fallen ninja capital, the righteous ninja hero hunts down the world's evil ninjas. It's a manga series. After we sealed off the research institute to hide from the Galaxy Rangers, my manga collection has been her only source of entertainment. Hmm. Now I know why number three always looks so loopy. You better be careful not to go overboard with giving her such useless information. There's only one horizontal axis on Area Edition's coordinate system. Everything else is an impediment to progress. That's especially true for the banal concepts of good and evil. Haven't the Galaxy Rangers given us enough trouble already? You'll never get the Doctor to notice you if you keep being so narrow-minded. Is that so? Would Doctor really notice ordinary mortals like us? <laughs> You're transferring number three to Denise 722? Why? Simple. You won't be able to graduate. According to Denisovan 22's reports, you have been guiding the experiment in the wrong direction. No! Let me ask her what she means by this. It's an honor for me to represent Laboratory 17 and elaborate on our beliefs to all who are present today. Wise attendees, as you can clearly see, our universe today is nothing but a crate of abandoned bananas. In order to save the world's marching towards rot and decay, humanity must regress, regress, and regress further. Only then will civilization be imbued with endless possibilities yet again, allowing erudition to shine with kaleidoscopic rays once more. 
Do not be concerned by the accusations and criticisms of others, for a grand cause must always use the dreams of the common masses as kindling. Yet it is blissful for them to become kindling, for rotten wood only contributes the greatest value when it is set ablaze. People should make use of their talents to the fullest, just as items should be utilized fully. We must ensure that every monkey in the experiment fully comprehends this bliss. Let us burn alongside them in happiness. Denise Event 22. What is all this? I've graduated. Now you need to call me Ape 22. As for what this is, that specimen is the new human that our laboratory painstakingly bred with genes filtered from the atavistic experiments, but you made her a lunatic. The research apes have decided that I will take over her nurturing from here on out. Who's in charge isn't important, but you can't continue the experiment anymore, so break! That's fine. I'm already nurturing number four. If something happens to three, we'll replace her with that new one. How could you? We brought her up since she was a baby. Do you not have a shred of morality? <laughs> morality? Are you really talking to me about morality? On Bacchus too, morality is how every family's second son must be sacrificed to Nanook. On the interstellar principality of Pegasus, morality is how bipedal organisms must be enslaved by quadrupedal ones. On the Capicala planet, morality is how blue-eyed individuals are forbidden from walking on the streets. Morality has bound the wisdom of those people and ended the future of those worlds. That was why Dr. Primitive chose them as targets of the atavistic experiment. The sacrifices we made are not for such vulgar things. Rather, they're meant to create a future where humans can be happy, where the universe can continue to advance, and one that the doctor can be proud of. Headmistress, you're destroying the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. Why? Cognition isolation is the first step to curing one of a mimetic virus. You were supposed to have the intelligence of a genius, but such garbage ruined it. Rip them. Tear them to shreds yourself. This... This is the dearest treasure of the dazzling ninja school. We cannot do that. Odd. I've always thought of you as obedient. You always did everything Denisovan 75 said. Why aren't you obeying me? <laughs> ah! Muscle fiber sure are densely packed. It's like slapping a rock. The poem? Why? Used on me? <sighs> Hurry and tear up this trash! As long as you perform well, both Denisovan75 and I will be praised. You don't wish to disappoint him, do you? Master Kucha? I understand. This must be Master Kucha's trial for me. He's testing my ninja skills of letting go. Umbrahead Mistress and Master Kucha. What are they talking about? 
Tiny 722. You cannot get rid of her. Number three is also a failed experimental subject. She barged into the storage room without permission, created a huge mess, and was rude to the research apes. Just that alone is enough to make her a failure. But you know that was just an accident. I'm a research ape, not a banana advisor. You're the one who made her into this damn state she's in. The laboratory should hold you accountable for the way she turned out. <sighs> damn it. Master Kucha, have I done something wrong? No, Rappa. You have done extremely well. A true ninja hero must wholeheartedly devote oneself uh, to the way of the ninja. You foiled the evil ninja's schemes and saved so many innocent people. You who undoubtedly already have the bearing of a true ninja. Am I really a true ninja now? Of course. Now, ninja initiate Rappa. <sighs> yes, master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've Mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of... Dazzling Ninja. Entrusting you to be my weapon. To defeat the evil ninja. And guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital, banish the shadows with ink, and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Yes. This is where the Matrix Core is. According to Master, Dazzling Ninjutsu can overwrite the evil ninja's Matrix. Channel the mantra into the colorful brilliance, then paint it over the existing mantra on the Matrix Core. What wondrous ninja tech. Dazzling Ninja Seal, open! Success! <laughs> this way, the evil ninja's Matrix can finally be broken. Denise of N75, what is going on? There's digital graffiti all over the laboratory. It even crashed the security system. I have no idea. Uh, someone must have hacked in. I'll check on it right away. Well, be quick about it. If we don't fix it soon, the Rangers are gonna find us. Master Kucha, I have placed the Dazzling Ninja Seal all over the Ninja Capital. Oh, good work, Dazzling Ninja. This way the evil ninja's matrix will no longer be able to stop our communication ninjutsu. Make haste, Rangers. Bring this ridiculous farce to an end. Stop! What are you doing, Denise of N75? Uh, Denny 722! Uh... How dare you deceive the experimental subject, your fellow research partners, and the research apes! The biggest mistake Laboratory 17 ever made was to allow a research fraud such as you to infiltrate this place! What?
What is Umbra Headmistress talking about? Uh, 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 Rapper. She is a follower of the evil ninja! What? Umbra Headmistress is a traitorous ninja? Enough! Combat apes, take care of them! Dazzling ninja, there's been a change to your trial. I now ask you to... vanquish uh, those traitors! Understood. I shall demonstrate for Master the dazzling Jitsu like the slime. Young Spiffy? Can you find the answer? It's on me. No dirty trick. Watch your head. Yeah. Rise! World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Spin freely. Titus one. <laughs> Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Combat apes were personally trained by the research apes. <sighs> My long hours of training have finally paid off. This is dazzling, Palm! Look. This is what they call the failed subject. We conducted this experiment together. We were the ones who shaped her into this. Someone with unparalleled intelligence, extraordinary perception, and incredible power. Tell me, in what sense of the word is she considered a failure? You? How dare you question the doctor's theory? The research apes must have their own considerations. The security system will be repaired soon. Prepare to feel the full force of Dr. Primitive's wrath, you oblivious kindling! You're wrong. Dr. Primitive wouldn't care about ordinary people like us. Rappa, this trial is over. You should go. But... Master Kucha... Leave, Rappa. <sighs> yes. You're secretly concealing weapons as well? What are you planning? Denise of N22. Thanks to you, I finally understood. That morality is indeed a hypocritical and superficial concept. That's why I've decided to ditch it for good. Wait, wait, my friend. Please, please put the gun down. We've been classmates for so many years now, you can't... Umbra, headmistress. It's time you breathed your last. This is karma. Warning. Unauthorized personnel detected in Corridor C-11. Security apes to activate security measures at once. <sighs> the evil ninja is about to set a matrix here. Using the ninja tech left to me by Master, I shall pave the way for those ninja heroes that are soon to arrive. Warning. Corridor C-11's security system appears to have malfunctioned. Technical apes to troubleshoot at once. Corridor C 11's security system has warning. Corridor C 11's security system is no longer functional. Corridor C 11. <sighs> so, this is how the air outside the ninja capital. 
Actually, smells like... Hey, little miss! Are you alright? Pleasure to meet you. Who... might you be? Galaxy Ranger, I received a distress signal. This place really is the territory of Dr. Primitive's henchmen! It's as hard to find as those bananas hidden in the woods! Ninja hero? Huh. It seems my trial has finally come to an end. Trial? What kind of Ugh, another poor kid driven mad by those monkeys. The final trial of the Mako Age. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house. And end the catastrophe. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? No way! So that's why all those in the lab are lying dead on the ground? Was it all you're doing? Ten years of suffering. One day of recognition. I have not let down dazzling ninjutsu. Oh, Mr. Kucha. I really wish you could witness this. Get it now. This girl's infected with a memetic virus. Most people would have turned into complete by now, but she's still running around like nothing's wrong. Please listen to me. You're in serious danger right now. If you don't get treated soon, your brain will eventually Wait. burst. Since I am now a ninja hero who can contend with evil ninjas, might I lend you a hand? You're asking me this now. Do you have a death wish? You want to go on the hunt? Know that this is a road of no return. Great man above. Eradicating evil till my last breath. My bow drawn. No turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved. Whoever follows the way of the ninja is a ninja. I... I've made my decision. Hot, hot, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Actor superstar, you'll surely become a director as great as me in the future. These memories are enough to create a sensational hit that will destroy ambiguity and bring a close to this absurd monkey show. But before that, the prelude prepared for the climax is already elsewhere. Veins. Don't worry. Everything's fine now. Oh! <laughs> wow! That's a little fudge and fantastic news. As if I haven't already told you that the last few times. Well, there's no need for my head to be checked. Let alone, uh, consultation. I mean, we needed an excuse for your behavior anyway. Surely insanity counts. What are you even saying? All hope is not lost yet. It looks like Dreamflux Reef is the enemy's real target. Everything that the both of you saw and heard at the Slumber Nana Association is evidence enough. Thankfully, you managed to intervene in time and put a stop to their schemes for now. Even so, the current situation is still rather grim. Apologies, but I only bring bad news. And good news, too? I wish, but no. Nothing of the sort. Uh, oh well. At least you didn't say worse news. The conversion is still in progress. The number of monkeys in Dreamflux Reef is still increasing, and I'm certain they used to be residents of the place. I sense the same. There is still a discordant static on Dreamflux Reef. Call it bewitchment or persuasion, the fact remains that such dissonance has indeed 
wrenched open the emptiness in people's hearts. I went to a few trustworthy bloodhounds for help, asking them to eliminate any assistant Annas that they come across. Looks like that's not helping the current situation. Mr. Micah, you know Dreamflux Reef the best among us. Do you have any suggestions? We're in a race against time, so I'll dispense with the formalities. In Dreamflux Reef, there are still assistant Annas working in secret, searching all over the place for residents who haven't been turned into monkeys and pushing them into that abyss. If the both of you are willing to aid us, it'll buy us more time. As for Miss Robin, you may just be the key to resolving this crisis. But if we were to ask for your help, we have to be prepared for the worst case scenario where the boundary between Dreamflux Reef and the family will no longer exist. I will need your promise regarding the future of this place. I understand. In that case, Please go ahead with your plans first, Mr. Boothill and Miss March 7th. Before you wrap up your business, we will have made our decision too. Until you said it. Being able to see an actor who isn't a monkey fills me with such joy. This scene would be overly monotonous otherwise. Though, I too find this way of making my entrance rather excessively deliberate. We're not blessed with the luxury of time. That's a little blatant engineering in the opening sequence. Won't you agree? Who are you? R Robin's people? No. No, you're a memo keeper. Keen intuition. But that layer of my identity isn't important. I am only here because of my fastidiousness toward the theatrical arts. What in fork in hell are you trying to say? Yeah, I was planning to tell you to stay away from this place, but you're being so annoyingly pretentious that 
You're better off turning into a monkey. At least you'd be less noisy then. You may think that I popped up out of nowhere. And yes, you can attribute that to a <clears throat> lack of foreshadowing. I wouldn't have approved such a sloppy sequence in usual cases. Yet, for the sake of this film, I am willing to forego some of my standards to offer some tiny clues to you and the other ranger. Oh, rapper sent you. <laughs> no wonder you're talking in that same convoluted manner. At present, there is an obvious way to save Dream Flux Reef. As long as the family steps into the picture, resolving the mutation that's occurred here would be a piece of cake. However, this is not a solution that the masses may be willing to accept. You think too little of people here. They gave up on those sweet dreams out there just so they can be true to themselves. You reckon such people would grovel at the feet of the family over a mere crisis? Yes, Mr. Micah thinks the same. But that perseverance of theirs isn't going to save Dream Flux Reef. I don't wish for this film to develop into a tragedy either. If the residents of Dream Flux Reef hope to tide over the crisis without the family's help, they will have to sing their very own song of harmony. This is why I'm here. I have prepared a big gift for all of you. The outline for the next act. You'll see once you open it. And why should I believe you? I am the director of this film as much as I am an actor in it. When it comes to the last scene that I will appear in, there's no reason for me not to seek perfection. <laughs> I knew it. There's no way a little fudge head will come right out and say what he actually means. Huh. Let's just see what you're up to then. This is... <laughs> Darn right he is. Uh, that motherfucker does know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, nothing else can beat this people of Dream Flux Reef have to come together to sing their song of harmony. Well, time to go back to that singing queen. <laughs> Forking hell. Oh, this place totally ain't shabby enough to ask the family for help. Truth be told, I do not find the way I entered the act to be satisfactory, but I believe your acting will make this scene better. I'll try my best, Mr. Micah. All right there, hold your horses. What do y'all have so far? Oh, it's you, Mr. Boothill. How are things outside? The same old sorry side. Not that I miss it. Uh, have we really come to this? What do you mean, partner? Am I gonna have to start learning how to greet the family now? 
On the contrary, that's something that will never happen in Dreamflux Reef. At the end of the day, I'm just Dreamflux Reef's Nightwatch, not its leader. I'm loath to interfere with people's right to choose. Choose? Uh, don't tell me you believe they chose to become monkeys. That's exactly my point. These are people who seek their true selves. I don't believe they would seek happiness by erasing their individuality. But I won't stop them from heading towards destruction, as long as they made the decision with a clear head. <laughs> That's my boy. If there are people who aspire to become monkeys, I won't deny them of that dream. But I hope Miss Robin would at least give them that right to choose once again. There is, indeed, a way to resolve the impending crisis without drawing the family's eyes to Dreamflux Reef. We know the tuning of Harmony can erase the static noise. If the people of Dreamflux Reef are willing to follow my lead in singing a charmonic tune together, we may be able to erase the heinous noises reverberating around Dreamflux Reef. But knowing how a number of residents here view the family, it won't be easy for the plan to work. More importantly, if the family's tunes become the only song left on Dreamflux Reef, we would have survived the crisis, but Penacone's only land of freedom would also cease to exist. If I just have every sound and voice come together in a single song. Listen, I, I have a fudging brilliant idea. Come with me singing Queen. Whether it works or not, Depends on how much of a deviant you are. You ready for it? Now, this is the only way to get everyone in Dreamflux Reef to sing together. <laughs> this... Need I say any more? Oh, well, don't tell me you've been so used to your classy posh instruments that this thing is beneath you. No, that's not it. I know a thing or two regarding everything related to tunes. But this really is absurd. <sighs> Perhaps an absurd crisis calls for an equally absurd solution. That's the way. Leave the rest to me. I'll make sure to get everyone we need. Some people saved their world by giving a dance. Some people defeated their enemies by crying. It's finally our turn now. Got a crisis? Throw a party! Yeah! Right. I'm not trying. I'm sim. He's getting the hang. Snap out of it, cowpokes. There's a big party going on over there, and it's lit as fudge. Why don't you go uh, check it out? Micah already told us about it. Chiming in on the family's harmonic tunes. Huh. You best get the hell out of my face. Sheesh, isn't that one of my lines? But sure, if you prefer it this way. I know I'm being a little demanding here. Get your hind parts over to that party right now and save your home, or I'll make sure to dedicate an elegy for every one of you. You! You, 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 you never seen a thug before? I'm not Micah. Wanna try me and my gun? What's going on? Are fellow humans more dangerous than those monkeys now? We'll go to the party. Just keep that gun of yours away. Howdy, partner. Oh, what's wrong, pals? 
Oh, that's one distressed look you have there. Haven't been swigging enough, eh? Shut up, cowboy. Enough snide remarks. Come over and help us out. Oh? Well, that's exactly what I'm here for. Here, head over to this place and just wait for it. <laughs> I called it, didn't I? Who needs all that brain when swigging around on the dance floor solves things just the same? A cowboy? Oh, right. The same guy as the other time. Could Miss Robin be? Come with me, everyone! I think he might just be making some sense. Monella, why are you... Never mind. What's one more loony to the count? Let's go see what's going on, then. My, my, my. Look who's here. Uh, I've been looking for you all day. Hmm. Should I believe that or not? Oh, all right then. I'll just take half the credit for those assistant Annas we took out earlier. Yeah, that's also just half of the whole lot. Huh? Ah, oh, so that's why nothing's going back to normal. Come on, we need to hurry. No need for that. We got a new plan now. How did it go with her? Convinced? Uh, I'll help out wherever possible. Jeepers, how'd you get through to her? Master Assistant Nana to Pulp? March explained everything to me. I wasn't really influenced by the Assistant Annas. It was something else. Uh, anyway, it's not your fault. Those bananas are incorrigible. Preaching about how having nothing is best. More like they wouldn't be able to control a single human if none of us thought that way. Say whatever they like. They're nothing but smashed fudges once I put my bullets into them. Everything ironed out between you two now. Hmm. Follow me then. Oh wow! Everyone's here! <laughs> what was it you said? Who in their right mind would sing in a choir in this era? Tell them there's a party. That's when people come flocking. What? A party? You're back, Mr. Boothill. We wouldn't have this turnout if it wasn't for Mr. Micah. Most of them are unwilling to trust me, much less the power of Charmony. But they chose to put their faith in Mr. Micah. I think it's less about believing me than them not wanting to give up on this place. Everyone's got something they want to prove. It's the first time Dreamflex Reef has ever had a way to overcome difficulties on our own, without relying on the family. So, what exactly are you gonna do? You're likely to find it... a little... unbelievable. <laughs> I still can't wrap my head around how I actually agreed to this. I must be crazy. What's so scary about that? I have to do something crazy every once in a while. That keeps me from really going nuts. All right, let's get the party going. Once the hype is at its peak, I'm gonna treat everyone to a drink. <laughs> I'm starting to like you guys now. Well, thank you in advance, Mr. Boothill. But I'd like to remind you on behalf of Jesse that your seven cups from before haven't been paid yet. But I'm willing to take care of that bill, of course. I've hosted several acting gigs in the past. This is the most unusual of the lot. Will it really work? Oh, don't overthink it, singing queen. Let me tell you something funny. 
I'm sure you can tell I've been through some uh, modifications on my body. When I just started out as a cyborg, my memory module fizzled out every so often, and I didn't even mess with it. The doctor told me to note things down if they were ever important, and, and she'd look up some possible causes before coming to fix me up a few days later. Guess what? I might have fudged and noted things down for several days straight, and that's when it hit me. I was remembering too much crap. That's why my memory module just kept shutting down on me. Is there a reason you're telling us this? <laughs> yeah, and it's simple. I'm telling you that it's not yourself that you have to trust, but them. Everyone here has a perfectly functional memory module. They didn't develop such robust brains to forget everything and become monkeys. So, you in? Yes. Let's get this party started. <laughs> what was it again? Uh, an absurd solution to an absurd crisis? <laughs> I, I won't call it that. It's only right for Dream Flux Reef's song to be untamed and free. Go get the party started, singing queen. No, no. I should call you, uh, DJ Queen instead. Let's go, nameless gal. You can go grab a seat by yourself. Beautiful. Excellent. Music can really bring a film to life. Holy forkeroni. Weren't you riding off your character? I am. That's why I am watching this scene as a director instead of an actor. I can't wait to hear for myself how this song of harmony is going to turn out. Sometimes I get hit by sudden hunches that a great film is in the making. More often than not, these tend to be just scenes from different groups of people that are then edited together. Most of the characters in this film aren't what you would call protagonists. You don't really get to see full character arcs on them, but they still have a light in their hearts that can save humanity's soul. What do these people really need when they have lost everything? Guidance of the wise or aid from the strong? I'd say neither. All they need is a camera to capture them. That's when others would be able to see the most wonderful show in the entire universe. <sighs> Don't make things sound so complicated, Director Pal. If you were to ask me... Forget. That's exactly what life is. <laughs> it's the prelude. Can you hear it? Those lesser thirds so plaintive, sixth diminished, sigh on sigh. Told them something. Those suspensions, those solutions, must we die? Those commiserating sevenths, life might last. We can but try. So, Miss Robin, is there anything else I can do? I'm all right now. You don't have to accompany me any further. The butterflies that I felt from before are all gone now. Is that because you're starting to get into the mood for the party early? No, that's not it. I just realized something I've never noticed before. Oh? Everyone expected my life to change after going through something huge like that. But that's not the case. I still haven't found a better answer regarding birds in flight. Even when something comes to my mind, I still need a lot of time to deliberate on it and try various ways to prove it. 
believe my brother must be doing the same right now. Are you going to change yourself from today? Not exactly. It's just, when I think about what's going to happen next, it dawns upon me that hymns tend to require a devoted heart and demand the choir to sing in unison. But on the dance floor, there's no need to conform or impose a certain standard for everyone to follow. Even if everyone is different, they will still appear the same. Perhaps harmony was never about its audience, but about the light it provides. Much like how we see it now. There are more choices for the people than singing in unison. Even if they were to contribute their own differing sounds, these can be strung together. That's what it means to tune. I believe our Song of Harmony will be able to embrace even discordant sounds. I will bring forth Dream Fox Reef's very own sound. Preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome, with bated breath, the beatific final act. Rapper, are you not done with your ninja tech yet? Patience. As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, hasty knitting produces poor fabric as raging fires fail to cook meat through. Hmm. Ha! Done! The cosmic ninjutsu is ever-changing, so I present to you the Super Ninja Scroll. I have added the memory from earlier into this. If Ninja Gama does not lie, this will become the blade to slay those fiendlings. As long as we insert memories containing the ninja mimetic virus into the synesthesia dreamscape, it will overwrite the existence of Slumber Nana Monkey in the dream. Ninja Hiryu, Ninja Galactic Baseballer, I'm counting on the two of you to aid me in ending the Feedling Chief's reverse dream. Ninjas, let the hunt begin! Gibberish sounds from before have stopped. 
I shattered the fiend's deception with my ninja talismans. Has everyone snapped out of their trance? It looks like Mr. Rekka did tell the truth. Your memory worked in overriding the slumber nana monkey's influences. Our speech seems to have gone back to normal too. Is this the moment of slumber nana? This place is crawling with slumber nana monkeys. I'm guessing they're the ripe bananas from Paperfold University and Dreamflux Reef. That is true. This is undoubtedly the illusory realm Ninja Galactic Baseballer and I had once visited. There were not as many fiendlings around back then. Looks like more and more people are being afflicted by the sorcery. Fiendling Chief, you're behind all of this, aren't you? But now. What a waste. If it wasn't for so many variables disrupting the plan, this place would have been even more bustling. You know it's even more of a waste? Your experiment's on its way to failure. Let me make a guess. You want to destroy this place with a virus in her head. But look at all these monkeys. Do you really think that dated manga can replace the most fervent trend in the dreamscape? Of course that wouldn't work. Neither do I have any intentions of pushing ninja initiates to adopt the way of the dazzling ninja. All we need to do is bring those disillusioned fans back to their senses to quell the rogue waves of feelings. There's no need to replace the slumber nana monkeys with ninjas. We just have to snap them back to their senses. That alone is enough to undermine the influence of the mimetic virus. And when people no longer blindly follow Slumber Nana Monkey, we will be able to easily destroy this dreamscape. Hmm. Looks like that memo keeper gave you guys some banana tips that good students shouldn't know about. In that case, I can only issue the final exam to you. Bring it on! Are you ready for your challenge? Oh, laying down your challenge only to abscond? Oh, despicable! I can't tell what's up his sleeve, but we should take care of these slumber nana monkeys as soon as possible. Stopping the mimetic virus is still our priority for now. Ninja Hiryu is right. Since I have already relinquished the Super Ninja Scroll, I rely on my fist to awaken these ninja initiates that succumb to the way of the Fiendling. There are too many monkeys. It's best that we try to eliminate them. My ninja arts are going to send the Fiendlings out of this place. Friends, freely use my ninja fist. Fashionable trends are what drive people. In the sweet dreams of harmony, this is equivalent to strife. The Fiendling Chief left atop this Ninja Tech bullet. Let us quickly give chase. Stop trying to escape. If you believe you can defeat us, why not settle it once and for all, right now? But nah, but nah, but nah. It's not time for class yet. There's no need to be in such a hurry. Are these floating mantras in the place of these ninja initiates? It seems the floating mantras for Guiling isn't the only reason they gave up on the way of the ninja. Life in Penacony is not as ideal as what is seen on the surface. We have to stop this- How many of the experimental subject's wishes have been collected inside the core so far? A thousand? Ten thousand? We should fully utilize what we have. These results will pave the way and eliminate any obstacles in our future experiments.
hurry up and give chase. is just ahead. Slumber Nana Monkey seems to be the climate. The virus must have also been weakened somewhat. Ninja Runaway Fast Technique! Ninja Runaway Fast Technique! Stop wasting your time on useless questions. It's almost time to hand in your papers. Hold on. It seems to be intentionally guiding us toward her. There's no need for hesitation, Ninja Hiryu. If there's an ambush, we foil the ambush. If there's a scheme, we throw the scheme. to be here. But nah. The experimental results have been so badly damaged. You're such a bunch of unruly students. Feed me, Chief. There's nowhere left to run. It's time to face your punishment delivered by my dazzling ninjutsu. <clears throat> A.K.A. Carrying high-quality primate genes selected from 32 civilizations for the atavistic experiment went astray due to a trainee research ape's erroneous cultivation. Moreover, that trainee research ape showed no remorse and even colluded with the galaxy rangers, resulting in a devastating loss for the laboratory. In the end, we're only left with an abysmal case of failure. You're a feeling who only knows how to take orders from the evil ninja and go around causing trouble. What right do you have to judge me? Of course. It's because of my dreams. Let us continue from where the previous lecture left off. Bananas are plants that propagate asexually. Each rhizome can bear several buds that will grow into a sea of banana trees thus eliminating hunger problems, plaguing planets, and perhaps even the entire universe. As for the selfish plants that place emphasis on personality and individuality, they will willfully spread their seeds and grow uncultivated. They only care about whether their genes are passed on, but do not know to contribute to the cause of their kind. Tell me, on a cosmic scale, which should be eliminated, and which should be left to thrive? Enough! Just shut up! When school started, you encouraged everyone to pursue their desires freely. But now you ridicule what it means to be free! Previously, you judged bananas to be a failed plant! But now you are singing praises of their selflessness! This... The context is different. You can't generalize it in this manner. When evil people do evil things, they always have a myriad of excuses to try and justify their own actions. You're self-contradictory and unreasonable, only striving to further your own agenda. There's no need to listen to such lessons. Feed me, Chief. Rather than continuing to weave lies, why don't you think about your last words? Failures. A bunch of failures that cannot be cultivated. How can failures possibly comprehend the erudition of a genius? However, I can always rely on primitive methods to beneducate you on this theory. See this beautiful dream bubble? The family relied on the harmonious wishes of thousands of family members and the power of the Stellaron to construct Pentacle. I 
simply gathered and converged the abandoned wishes of thousands of monkeys into this dream bubble to create the moment of slumber nana. Now, I will hand over its power to all the nana advisors and assist the nanas. Banana, banana, banana. It's time for the final, the Sonata. The name of this class is... Dreaming! Be gone! Ultimate brilliant enlightenment! Only bananas! The slumber that a monkey has disappeared! You bunch of unruly students have seriously violated the blackness of the code of conduct. Sure, I'll play along. Shatter! A failed Bessanana. Unattainable dreams are just like the highest. What is this place? Wasn't I just in class? Where have the bananas and forest gone? Him, Don Hung, and Miss Rappa? Yo, Ninja Ruri. Yo, Silver Gun Shira. Forking hell. They're making more of a scene than we are. How could it be? How could such mighty aspirations be brought down by a bunch of failed kindling? Feedling chief, stop insulting others with your filthy language. The way of the ninja does not discriminate between classes. One who seeks the way of the ninja is a ninja initiate. One who upholds the way of the ninja is a ninja. And one who lives by the way of the ninja is a ninja hero. Stand, Me neither. What? No more nonsense. There's no point in continuing the conversation with the monkey brought up by Dr. Primitive. Hmm. Have you decided on what to do with this guy? Hmm. Torture is definitely on the menu. <laughs> Whip him with a belt soaked in salt water and serve him everything that the IPC wants used on me. The feeling chief is guilty of multiple sins and deserves punishment. However, repentance is not what we seek. Instead, make, make him tell us, us where evil ninja Prim Osaru is. is. Hey, you enjoy playing dead? Let's see if you can still play dead in the face of a banana covered with thorns. Uh, all right, cowboy actor. You don't have to continue acting with that puppet. <laughs> a puppet? You little fudgehead. Even your toad looks more like a puppet than he does. Oh, you've hurt the feelings of the assistant director. You really should work on changing your crude way of delivering lines. Go ahead if you really want to torture a prop. But a certain gorilla who has just awakened at the border of Azdana is probably about to depart. Silver Gunshira, even with my super hearing, I'm no longer able to detect the sounds of the feedling. <sighs> Perhaps Ninja Gama is right. Oh, 
hell. That muddle fudger still got away even after all our effort. <sighs> Forget it. Gail, why are you so calm? You're always talking about how much you hate that scum. Why are you so unconcerned right now? This night is long. The hatred of a ninja hero should be born solely by themselves. Since Pinacani has finally ushered in a period of peace and prosperity, then let the mortal beings of this land of dreams embrace the sun once more! The hatred in one's heart might dissipate one day, but the way of the ninja within their hearts will never be forgotten. Ever. Rappa... Have you found your own way of the ninja? Of course! Becoming the Dazzling Ninja is my way of the ninja. No. That cannot be considered the way of the ninja. The, the, the way of the ninja is something a ninja lives by for the rest of their life. Then, defeating the evil ninja? You'll eventually defeat evil ninja Osaru one day. Then what happens next? Is your reason for becoming the dazzling ninja solely for defeating your enemies? Hmm. But he's not the only evil ninja in this realm, right? Of course. In the cosmic ninja realm, evildoers are as abundant as the glittering stars. The gods have no spare attention to protect the mortals, and the powerful ninja masters with extraordinary ninjutsu powers constantly fighting against one another. That is the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Then my way of the ninja shall be... Eradicating evil to my last breath. My bow drawn, no turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. To the end of the Mapo Age. actually experience something so exciting. Seriously, bring me along on such adventures next time. <laughs> it was clearly you who went off on your own. Ugh, forget it. Anyway, I was also able to showcase my capabilities while you guys weren't present. I definitely played a big part in your being able to resolve the situation so successfully. You're too kind, Ninja Galactic Baseballer. The academic conference has concluded, and the actual acting dean and teachers are back. The university did not escalate matters. Perhaps it's because Mr. Rekka extracted a portion of the people's memories. Oh, how scary. Could he have taken our memories as well? I don't want to lose any more memories. Uh, however, it's all thanks to him that the Dreamlight Anniversary is going ahead once again. Well, I hope that we can finally have some fun this time. Yes, and I heard that Miss Robin is going to host the new opening ceremony in the plaza. <laughs> 
Let's head over and take a look. Isn't that Montana? And the other classmates? They're back! Hi, Montana. Are you feeling all right? Yo! Ninja March! Huh? What? Hmm? Don't you know? This is the most popular meme right now. It originated from Mr. Rekka's latest work, the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions. Uh, that guy. I don't think he's paid our salary yet. Uh, by the way, Montana, do you still like Slumber Nana Monkey? Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> That's so last year. Last year? Just yesterday at Dreamflux Reef, you were... Dreamflux Reef? <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> All right, March 7th. The latest trend now is the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions. You have to keep up with the trends. I'm going to the Ninja Appreciation Society's event now. <laughs> Do you want to come along? Uh, no, thanks. I'm heading to the opening ceremony of the Dreamlight Anniversary. Understood. Then farewell, Ninja March! That's Ninja Ruri to you. Farewell! Uh, so is this what they mean by the rise and fall of trends and Panacone? Son, I've thought it through. If you're too tired, let's let's just return to our hometown. No, Dad. I'm not going back. I've earned a fortune during the anniversary celebration. Even though I don't do well in my theory courses, I can still become a salesperson in the future and make a great living. Just watch, Dad. I'll be sure to make a name for myself in Panacone. Son, as your dad, perhaps I should also try a little harder. It seems like Richie and his father have figured it out. Mm, Shalika, the desserts that you made are so delicious! Oh, give me one more! Give me one more! There's enough for everyone, so please queue up! Shalika, you're simply a genius of dessert making! Thank you. Maybe becoming a patissier after graduating doesn't sound too bad either. <laughs> it seems like Shalika has also found her own way of the ninja. Star one day. Can I get your autograph in advance? Uh, of course. Here, take it. Thank you. But who's this? Gabbana? That's my name. I'm not going to use a stage name anymore. So, if you're going to be my fan, please remember that my name is Gabbana. Nana Bloom Chan, or should I say Gavana, has gained some recognition. Himeko, Mr. Yang, you're here as well? That's right. <laughs> we heard the anniversary celebration had uh, been delayed, so we wrapped up the conference early and came straight here to see if we could catch the fun. So, how was it? Did you enjoy your time on campus?
<laughs> Not an eager student. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Life itself is a journey of study. The universe, a boundless ocean of learning. Look, Miss Robin is here. Hello, students. I'm very happy to be hosting the Dreamlight anniversary this year. Oh gosh, it really is Miss Robin! The opening ceremony this year is much better than last time. Hold on. Who was the speaker last time? Uh, I don't remember. A long time ago, I also spent some time studying at Paperfold University. So I can be considered an alumnus of the school. Paperfold University back then was just like how it is right now. There was a lack of freedom. Exams were a source of headaches. We had plenty of homework, and our thesis defense had stringent requirements. <laughs> well, it can't be helped, since this place bears the burden of training the future of Penacony. The annual Dreamlight Anniversary is the opportunity for students to temporarily toss their troubles aside. However, the anniversary celebrations will come to an end, just like how we'll eventually awaken from our dreams. But there is a type of dream that we will never awaken from, and should never awaken from. And that is the dreams woven by our highest ambitions. Some students wish to create beautiful objects, while others desire to lead amazing lives. There are some who even wish to become a better person. These are all amazing dreams. In our lives, dreams act as beacons that guide us forward. Once we have lit up the beacon, we may choose to rest at any time. This does not signify that we have given up. For as long as the light of the beacon can be seen, we will have the courage to restart our journey. I hope that all of you will be able to find your dreams at Paperfold University and will dedicate your lives to realizing them. It's because of your sweet dreams that you can create color. It's because of your ideals that you can embrace freedom. Welcome to Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams, free your ideals! Despite the similarities to the evil realm, there are no clues here. Yo, Ninja Gama. Oh, how I wish that in the next film you can call me something better, my wonderful actor. Are you alone? Each ninja has their own prey. Silvergun Shura only came to repay a favor, after which he returned to his own hunt. Is anything the matter? <laughs> after helping me shoot such an exciting film, I'm here to hand you your remuneration. A reward won't be necessary. I'm only acting according to my way of the ninja. Riches are not what I desire. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll be very interested in my remuneration. After all, this remuneration is... about where Dr. Primitive went. All remains as it did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>